Oh, well, the vibe is incredible. I mean, first of all, I remember when my father traveled around the world. And then when he retired, and that's all he did, you know, he just had these trips, looked forward to these trips, and he would go to Southeast Asia or Japan, or they, they literally went all over the world. But I remember him saying that the most mind-blowing place he ever was was Machu Picchu, and he couldn't pronounce it because he had dentures. He said, Machu Picchu, so we made fun of him. And, you know, Machu Picchu, what's that? You know, and then uh, he showed us pictures of it. You know his point and shoot pictures but even from that it it just was unbelievable and it's a very powerful place obviously timeless powerful place that's also connected with other timeless powerful places that were became holy and sacred shrines so I felt going into it that it was uh, an honor to be doing something but it wasn't just doing, a, let's do a piece on Machu Picchu, it was for Peruvian people of a very high caliber, also artists, and uh, and so I wanted to do something that was completely reverent to uh, their culture and the place, and do it with a sense of uh, classical design and, and timelessness that wasn't just my interpretation of it, but something that really would resonate immediately with all of them and that they would love. And also to incorporate the music and the sounds of the music. So uh, rather than, you know, just work from reference pictures and interpret these and copy these, and also because the, the process is very uh, labor-intensive, drawing... Uh, a little tiny increment at a time and then but also figuring out how to resolve that as the final picture at the beginning and make the animation of that you know come to life and why uh, to choose this technique is that the theme is the spirits of Machu Picchu and the, and the idea that you go to a place a sacred place like that it is inhabited by spirits that have ascended to the highest level, which is probably why they went there in the first place. So that would that's where they would end up somewhere. I say end up, but that, that's where they would reside, within those rocks, within those stones. And the stones have timeless beauty. That's why we use stones on gravestones. You know, there's the idea that it can contain the energy of the people. But also at the place where the indigenous, uh, you know, residents there, the llama, alpaca, the condor. And so, you know, the idea was to incorporate all of that imagery in there and make, a, you know, give an overall impression that you are there, you're going there, but that these spirits are manifesting, that they're appearing. So with the call of the conch shell, uh, traditionally, that's what would alert the spirits, you know. And so we make them appear with the magic of, you know, animation, technology. And, uh, you know, they, they come to life. So that, that's the idea and basically, you know, what we were going for.